Hello. Today I'm going to be doing a, a around the house a special effects makeup tutorial. Um, so you, you don't need liquid latex. You, you need glue. Um, this is just random correctly. Um, you need some of this. You can use your mask makeup. This you can get this at two dollar stores. So you could also use corn syrup mixed with what corn syrup mixed with um, food coloring. But there's tutorials for that. Um, I'm using this. You can also use this is this this is basically water with food coloring in it. Um, may stain some fabrics. Nice size. This is just horrible. I get too little shop. I, this is like one pack of this. this is a dollar, and I only use like not even a mil. So yeah, I don't know how much is in here. It's just distilled water, carbon recluse, and sodium benzoate or something. You need so these three ingredients. Some toilet paper, and you just need to cut out some squares. This is just like this stuff. So you just cut up two squares, so you get one square, and then cut out another square. The same size. I was gonna do one smaller than the other, but. I don't suggest doing that now that I think about it. So there you go. Two. Pretty much the same size. Doesn't matter. The glue will cover up both the seams. Then. Some, some glue. And put it on. Also, I suggest using a sponge. You could also use your fingers. But. I'm just going to use using a sponge. So, just do a small square. May not come out. not come out like me, just take the lid off. I mean just the bit in the phone. See glue. don't need too much. The first layer may be a bit the thickest one. And then put on your your smallest one maybe. There. Use toilet paper because it gives it a good texture. Oh, and I didn't in include this in the ingredients but you need to be paint. So that it'll be really thin. Then get another layer down. You can do as much layers as you want. Um, don't forget to do the sides because that'll cover up the seam. This is probably the most. Um, around the house item video for special effects makeup on my chin so you won't find anything else most of my other tutorials are liquid latex but there are channels for like homemade stuff just search on like homemade special effects makeup Yeah. 
then the end of the edges you could just get more of the stuff whatever you're using you could do the exact same method except use liquid latex and not tissues just use liquid latex which I could show you very thin because you need it to dry Now you need to show that it's a bite. So get scissors and go like this. I don't know if I can show you on camera, I'll try to. That's one little tooth mark. Right there. Little tooth mark. Then do that for the rest. Now it depends how even you want it to be. You could do straight or curving around to make it look like there's the teeth are in a curved jaw shape and do the teeth marks crooked because it's a zombie and one teeth mark could be see how that's all crooked And one, there'll be a spot missing, like there's a tooth missing, some red tooth missing, like that. Blowing it, and it'll still be wet. There are ways to pass the time, but for this way, to pass the time. I'm going to do a liquid latex version and no guarantees for this I don't think this has been done before liquid latex bite and it could have been I've seen bites and they just did painting paint the bite on oh, latex oh, this is on my left hand it's kind of hard you could do like a stencil or something with the latex. So do your bite. So this is pretty much latex zombie bite versus homemade zombie bite. So, little coat. Do another little coat until you build up a, a latex layer. And you don't have to blend latex because it blends already. You can use a stipple sponge for this, but I don't know if I use a stipple sponge in this yet. So. You need quite a layer to get a bite mark. go this is a layer of latex and then that's the other bite mark obviously la the latex will dry first <sighs> because it's latex and latex dries super fast but those are the two bite marks <sighs> and then get your next step ready so you can put all of the other ingredients way because you won't need the glue anymore, you won't need the latex anymore but, and you won't need the sponge anymore
you will need that once or twice. You won't need this anymore, so you can wipe wipe it off. Get latex out of it before the latex gets away in it like it already has. Oh, little latex on my pants. Swollen and yeah, so you blood and then just kind of make it like stain the skin, kind of like draw on it like this. It's magic. Oh, I just dropped a bit. could be dry now so yeah my latex is disappearing see latex is almost gone because this is clear clear dry latex don't bump the latex by the way now while the latex is still a bit wet and it's still dry glowy do some bite marks. It might be a bit hard because some of the latex may have already dried. This is not the best makeup I've ever done. This is so crooked. Because latex is like... Like a... Paper and it rips. And it tears. I know it looks awful. Nothing but that won't do. There we go. I think the red's messing with the camera. There's the head. So now we will powder up the the other one we did, which was the homemade makeup. So let's do it. Get your powder thing. There's a mirror. Don't have it, just use your mum's makeup. I think, I oh, there it is. There we go. Um, as you can see, it's really light. But you could just put blood on it and it'll make it pinkish. <laughs> Better using latex. But whatever. Latex, I don't know. 
you be the judge of which one we want. Blood. Oh god, blood's drippy. He's the thanks. And I don't know, you judge the winner. Whatever. So yeah. To get them all off. This, this is easy. You got this. It's gone. I think that probably some of the most easiest things to remove. Latex is easy to remove. Tissue and glue is harder to remove because once it's wet, it's sticky and it's wet, so it's slimes around. But that was another episode of my channel. Goodbye.